My house is freezing cold. Did you catch that? Hi, Shani Fannies. Welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi, Shani. Hi. So, I'm sorry I didn't post the video last night and I was not going to post the video tonight either, um, but, but something really cool happened to me tonight that kind of gave me the boost that I needed again and kind of like reminded me why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, and so I thought I'd share that with you guys. First of all, I didn't make a video last night because I focused 100% of all of my energy into not binging and purging. And I'm very happy to say that I didn't give in. Yay! I also didn't cut myself. Yay! So I'm technically one day sober now. So I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> but anyway, tonight, Danny is working until 6 a.m. And I was having a bad day again. It was a hard night, even though I didn't and purge, it was a very hard night emotionally. Anyway, um, long story short, I decided to do a binge and a purge. So I left my house and I do want to point out one thing really quick. This is important to the story. What helped me last night was doing something that I had not done in a very, very, very long time, which is praying for myself. I don't pray for myself hardly at all. You guys know I believe in God. And that's okay if you don't, you know I don't judge you and I hope you won't judge me for my beliefs also. Um, but I just don't pray for myself very often. I'll pray for other people and stuff, but never myself. Um, last night was the first time in a long time that I prayed for myself and um, I made it through. And then today I woke up feeling really tempted to go do it again. Long story short, I started feeling more and more depressed throughout the day and I decided that I would binge and purge today night so I went out I got my watermelon and then I went and got some pizza and some cinnamon sticks and some bread sticks and some cereal and some cheesecake a sandwich and a cheeseburger I got all that food and plan to binge and purge so I bring the food home I bring the watermelons upstairs and listen, you guys know my stairs. I have a lot of effing stairs in my house and it's really difficult anyway. So I bring up two watermelons. It took me like three trips to bring up the groceries and the food and the watermelons up all those stairs to my kitchen. And when I got in here, I cut open the watermelons because I like to make sure they're ripe because that's what I eat right at bedtime. I like, to, I like them to be perfect and ripe and cold and you know, I look forward to eating my watermelon every night. It's my favorite thing in the whole world, so. So I cut both of the watermelons open and both of them were not ripe yet. And by this time I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, but I didn't have watermelon last night and I almost died. I actually almost died. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that. The watermelon has gotten me through so many hours and days of pain. And if I don't have watermelon two nights in a row, that would kill me. So, first world problems. Do you hate me right now? So anyway, I'm debating whether or not I should go back out to the store. And I got this really strong feeling to go. And I'm like dead tired, my body is shot, I'm about to pass out, so sick, so tired. And I'm like, fine, I'll go to Macy's and try to find water. So I went to Macy's, got a watermelon, and came back home. When I got home, I saw a neighbor from across the street coming outside of her house as I was coming out of my car. And her, she had like three little puppies with her and they were adorable and they were like barking at me. And so she's like, I'm sorry if that bothers you, if they're barking. I'm like, no, not at all. They're adorable. Hi puppies. Hi. And she kind of just like brought them over and we just started like talking. I introduced myself and she introduced herself. And, um, within, I would say one minute, I knew that I loved this girl and she loved me. We connected so fast, it was crazy. So I told her what I do here on YouTube and she told me about her life and kind of what she's doing and 
her past and my past and like it's very vague obviously we only talked for probably I don't know 45 minutes but um, but we talked for a while and she was someone that I just I was supposed to meet tonight because I brought home all this food I was gonna binge and purge tonight and I was feeling so low and so sad and so alone and running into her she just was such a bright loving outgoing spirit and it really really helped me tonight so if you're watching um alicia right i don't even know your name how do i not know your name it's alicia alicia anyway so this girl and i just start talking and she's talking about how she's also going through a hard time i told her about my relapse this week i told her about the hard things that I've been going through this week and, and she's like, man, I'm going through hard things right now too. I think it's interesting that we found each other and then she started talking about how she's been writing this book for like seven years about her dad being murdered and like them spending her entire life trying to figure out like he was murdered when she was two years old and so she has been spending her entire life trying to find the murderer and it's this big mystery type thing. It happened in the military or the Air Force, I think. I forget where, but um, something like that. And so she spent her whole life looking for that person that murdered her dad. And I guess she found her and stuff. And I'm like, I am so... In and she's 43 years old and she looks like she's 25, which is like, that is so rude. <sighs> you guys think I look young for my age? Wait till you meet this girl. You'll be shocked. Anyway, so it just was really cool. She was talking about how she's been trying to get this book published for years and she's worked so hard on it. And she's like, but I just can't find the platform. I don't know what to do. And I was like, I have a platform. <laughs> so I showed her, I told her everything and told her that I would, you know, get to know what she's doing and, and she can come be in my videos. And she's like, maybe you could even like teach me how to do videos. Cause I know that I need to start doing a platform for myself or else no one's going to buy my book. And I'm like, I know. Blah, blah. So it was like, it was just so weird that had I not gone out to get more watermelon <laughs> because those ones weren't right. That I would happen to run into a person that saved me tonight. Um, saved me from myself, from my eating disorder. And we bonded so much so quickly and she has eating issues too. And I told her, I'm like, dude, if you publish your, your book, I, I can get, I know that so many of my, my fans out there would buy your book just from the story alone about your dad being murdered and you spending your whole life finding out why and who and blah, blah, blah. But also she has eating issues and she has lots of, lots to say on that as well. So I'm like, girl, you need to just start your own channel. So um, so as far as I know, she's gonna check me out tonight. So if you're watching, hi, I'm so nervous. Um, but thank you for, just thank you. Like it really was a divine intervention. I told you that through text tonight and I know that you agree. Like that was so um, weird that we would meet at 11.30 at night in that weird way in the dark. And like, I don't know, it just was, meant to be so thank you and I know that my shiny fannies thank you because they've seen me go through a lot of hell this week this past week has been really really hard for me and um and I know that they'll all be grateful for you and so go read the comments I guarantee you'll find so many fannies being like thank you so much for bringing Shani back and reminding me yeah so but anyway so me talking to her and telling her what I do and all that stuff really like brought it back like reminded me why I'm doing this. Like, I don't know, it just was the boost that I needed to remind me what I'm doing and how cool it is that I have this and that I have worked so hard and built up this channel and built up this community that we have going on. Um, it's just so, I put so much work into that and into my recovery. It's just not, I'm not, I can't just throw it away like that. I can't just give up, I can't just, and like it was never my intention to give up, but it definitely was for the for a few days. Like I didn't want to make a video tonight or tomorrow or the next day. I was gonna like make a 20 second video and be like, hey, I'll be back Tuesday, that's it. But um, but then this happened and it just made me like want to keep going and, and not give up, um, which is what I want to do, but I'm not going to, so. So thank you, Alicia, for saving me. I love you already. I just met you, but I love you. I love everyone. 
but I really do love you and I feel very connected to you. So thank you so much. And, um, yeah, yeah. So you just never know. Sometimes if you ask for help, no matter who you're asking for me in this case, it was God, but for you, no matter who it is, sometimes when you ask for help, you'll receive help and you'll receive a tiny little tender mercy in your life that will be like a reminder of how loved you are and your worth and why you're here and what you're doing here. And every single one of you has that. And I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't believe in you guys as well. Like this isn't just for my recovery, this is for yours also. And I love sharing my inspirational stories with you like tonight because I know that you guys have that inside of you too and you guys are always sharing your story your inspirational stories with me as well and that means a lot to me and it's it feels good when I am able to do that with you as well um, so thank you for sharing everything with me and for allowing me to share everything with you so now I'm gonna go to bed and eat my ripe watermelon and why am I all sassy? What's happening? I'm just like getting my groove back. Gotta get it going. Gotta get it going. I'm sorry there's no singing Saturday. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. I'll probably do a singing video tomorrow and then also something else that I want to talk to you about tomorrow. So we will do that tomorrow. And um, yeah, I love you guys. And hang in there, not literally. And I will too. And remember forever and always that you are beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Love you guys.